Go Nijiwa Amina, this is Tizakura, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10 minute first impressions video is going to be on a PS4 game, and that is Toy Soldiers War Chest. As always, you get 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game, our version thereof, and I can't skip anything. So let's get that timer started. Timer's been started. And. Well, this is going to be fun to see exactly what this game is all about. You know, it's Ubisoft, so they threw in Assassin's Creed characters in here too. But basically, as far as I understand, this is Toy Story gone bad. In this game, the toys really do battle. As far as I am understanding. Hmm, next time I remember it, <laughs> when I do the video, make sure I'm in the game beforehand, because this takes a bit to load. But it is the first startup load, so it makes sense. Or would you like to play the tutorial? Yeah. Uh, it is available app if you'd like to play it later. Let's just do the tutorial because I'm gonna need how to play it, know how to play this game. Yeah, you really are having a T palsy. It's taking forever. But some games just load slower than others, even on the PS4. Mowing the lawn, picking up darts, winding up toys, replacing stuff. Ah. <sighs> I'll be honest, this is probably, probably the slowest loading game for the PS4 I have laid to date. But that doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. It's just, it's bizarre to see a game that has a very slow loading time. So this better be big if it's taking this long to... Well, that's a good reason to buy it to be big. Holy crap. Welcome to so all, uh, soldiers. This is your toy box. When you in an enemy enters it, your toy box loses health. Defend your toy box at all costs. Okay, so it's a tower defense. All yeah, right. This is your toy box health and money earned. You can move over the camera with L. And wow, this is. And it's, of course, stupid, reversed, whatever. Oh, whoops. So this is how I move my camera. Zoom and rotate. L3 for strategy cam. Okay, protect. Your toy box, and you must boil turrets. Okay. Place your turret. Yep, it's a tower defense game. That's gonna be awesome because of all the other crap. Continue function. Place uh, your cursor, I maximum select it. You can choose your control. Oh. Now that is awesome. So we literally get to uh, do it. Okay. Uh, 
Nice. Get enough of the action things and do that. Okay, so kill as much as you can. So this is always fun tutorials. Not much we can do, we just gotta do what the tutorial says. I'm actually excited that we can actually zoom, control it, different things, because that would really add a lot to the game. Don't know why we cannot use that, but it's just how it is. Okay, getting kills gets you different things. Gotcha. Nice. So grab the battery pack. Nice. Uh, this kind of reminds me of playing World of Warcraft. If you get what I am referring to, that is awesome. If you don't, well, you've never played World of Warcraft and you don't understand what I'm talking about. Spawn killing is fun. Or I guess you, if it, since I am referring to World of Warcraft, graveyard killing is so much fun. Nice. That was really cool. Okay, this is the enemy wave list. It shows you how many to do. Some indicates uh, the type of tower. Oh, type of wave. Continue. Okay, the next wave has a countdown when you're ready. You can skip the countdown and launch the wave. Playing the monks to help out. To add some more turrets up to make it a little bit easier. Can't do anything with that yet. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Shell cam. Alright, so are they just literally gonna stay over there and do nothing? Oh, there goes my timer. Okay. Long tutorials for games like this are important. Teaches us how to play. Now, the things I'm going to talk about that I actually did like, to what I can see, is that, well, we get to take over our turrets and actually physically control them to where it adds more to the game, and I think that's a clever idea. Very, very good. Uh, we get to call down different soldiers that we get to command. That's going to be a plus side, definitely. A lot of fun with that. Um, the graphics look fantastic. And it's just flat out what it is. It's a tower defense game, which are always fun. But they've added some new elements into it. Um, which isn't the first game I've played, but almost one of the games that ha understand how to make the game work. So that's really nice. Um, this will be definitely a good one to play with friends, you know, especially if it allows us to have up to four teams on a battlefield. That would be crazy, but it would be fun. And of course, the console just just being toys and how, depending on what team you choose, will definitely change the outlook of everything. It's going to be hilarious. One, I'm definitely one. I'm one game. I'm going to have to look further into it and see what else there is to do. Just because the tutorials just show me how to play and really only shows two teams, and not the really surprising teams that would have been fun to see. So this is going to be fun. I'm happy to see that somebody is still making tower defense games but goes the extra mile to make something different and yeah it's too bad that I didn't really get to play the game so much as I would love like to but hey you know tutorials are very important plus I learn how to play and I'm not giving away any story to anybody so that way you know you don't have anything ruined for you so you know there's a plus side as well so I hope you guys have enjoyed this is T-Secura saying ciao and sayonara <laughs>